Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roll, and today I'm going to take you through the setup of the Thermodynamics Cutmaster 42. For the inventory, it comes with a torch, two 220 to 110 adapter plugs, a consumable pack that has five nozzles and two electrodes, and an adapter for the back of the machine some plasma glasses, and a pair of plasma gloves. The Cutmaster 42 is shipped in this nice case. Onto the back of the machine you can see that we're pre-wired for a 220 plug. Simply what you'll do if you need to do something different than 220 like 110, you'll simply plug this in, you'll select the appropriate receptacle, and this sets you up to do 110 plug directly into the wall. Also on the back of the machine we have the off on switch and then we have our air port. comes with this adapter that I'm going to go ahead and supply some white tape to. And then you'll need to purchase separately something to connect this to your air compressor. It came with one that screws into it but it's a barbed fitting and most of us actually have a quick disconnect on the back so no big deal, 39 cents at Home Depot. And we'll go ahead and get this taped up and installed in here and then torqued down. Onto the front of the machine we have a pre-wired in ground. I would like to see the manufacturers go into a quick disconnect ground of years past. The ground that's supplied is very nice, high spring tension, it is copper lined. We'll clamp that to either the work table or to your work piece. The torch that is supplied with the unit is their SL40 torch and it has this built in safety on the trigger you simply just pull back and then it'll initiate the arc very nice system. Hooking it up to the unit is a snap. It's a type of Euro Connect and simply just plug it in and then you give it a couple twists and that will lock everything down in place. Basically now we're plugged into 220 and we have air running to the back of the machine. We've covered the torch and now we're basically ready to cut. Onto the front of the machine you can see we have two scales here 20 to 40 amps. That would be for your 220 rating. And then on your 110, 120 volt, you'll have 20 to 27 volts that you can dial in on the unit. Up here we have that we have a good air. If we have bad air, it'll actually blink. And this will be your pilot arc. Initiating arc on this unit is simple. Simply pull back on the trigger. Now that I've spent about an hour with the Thermal Dynamics Cutmaster 42, I'll give you my initial impressions. I have to give this unit two thumbs up. I like the torch. Torch trigger is easy to use. It's small and compact so it's easy to get in nice, nice tight areas. On the case, it's very small, very ergonomically shaped, has a nice carry handle and also comes with a strap. The strap might for myself really doesn't apply, but it would for somebody out in the field that's wanting to transport this around or maybe strap it up and get on a ladder and go up and cut something. So that's a nice little extra. The carrying case is maybe something that uh, may or may not appeal to some people, but it's kind of a nice extra that's thrown in. Uh, quality of the unit is outstanding. You may have guessed why I've actually went through the setup of the Cutmaster 42 is we're going to run the Thermal Dynamics and the Longevity Force Cut 42i together head to head next week. And we're going to do some, see what will do the thickest cuts uh, both of these units are about the same price point, so we'll see what actually gets the better cut quality, the thicker cut, and just the overall ease of use of the units. So stay tuned for next week's show. I'm Tim Roble. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel, and I'll catch you here next time.